All right, here we are at World Mart Kihei. We just got checked in. We have a one bedroom unit. I'm gonna give you a real quick tour. Here, oops, focus, focus. Here is the master bedroom. We have our own air conditioning unit up there. Our own TV. And as you come out, oh, look, there's a monster. Bathroom. And in the one bedroom unit, you have one bathroom, which is okay. We're sharing it with three people this time. We have laundry. Living room, dining room, kitchen. It's a nice kitchen, got a full-size fridge for all that beer and alcohol we're going to be consuming. And over here we have the Murphy bed. We have our own little balcony. Uh, I like our uh, building four unit a lot better on the ground floor because it looks up, looks over, it overlooks a like runoff area. And this time we get the overlook the parking lot, but that's okay. I'm happy because I'm in Maui. This is our favorite resort here in Kihei. It's the uh, World Mark Kihei, and we are timeshare owners, and this is where we use most of our points almost every year. Uh, we get about two weeks a year here. And it's just a lovely little space. You can see the ocean is about a block away, so we'd have to cross the street, and we're on the beach, and it's a really nice beach out there. Again, is usually friendly and efficient here. They don't want to bother you while you're on vacation, so that's nice. Pool area is locked to keep the riffraff out. Last time we were here, they had lots of uh, this nice kind of seating, but this year, this is all we have, just these three little seats, and those cushions are pretty worn down. <clears throat> There's our pool. It only gets about five feet deep. Got a nice little waterfall. Come around the other side so you can get a better look at it. Nice pool area out here, though. Nothing spectacular, but it, uh, it gets the job done. We got some tables and chairs out here, loungers with uh, with umbrellas over them. See those solar panels up there? They are on every building in this resort, which is one thing that I absolutely love. Is that they they're using solar power over here. We have a little open airs, open air activity center. They do a presentation here every morning to help orient you to the island. And of course they have the concierge that will help you book trips, etc. It's another great thing I love about this resort. I don't know if they do it at every timeshare or not, but when, you, uh, when you're headed home and you have leftovers, uh, they don't allow food, but leftovers like noodles or chairs or floaties or things like that. You can leave them down here and somebody will come along and use them again for their vacation. And that was a noodle that I picked up the day after I got here and we're leaving, so I'm leaving it for someone else. They do have a massage um, cabana over here. I rarely see anyone here. I think maybe you have to schedule a massage in advance and then 
they'll come and give you a massage, but they're not just open on a walk-in basis, I don't think. And there's the hot tub. It's a really good size hot tub. Kids use it a lot to play in because it's warmer than the pool. First few times I got in the pool on this visit, that water was chilly, chilly, chilly. It's almost like they ran it through a refrigeration unit or something. Dang, it was cold. Also down in the pool area is a nice little kiddie pool where your littles can play. And there are a couple of uh, Coke machines back there to keep you hydrated. All the buildings and all the rooms here are pretty much the same. Um, one thing I do love about them is that the, uh, the walkways around the rooms themselves are all shady and there's lush green plants growing everywhere. And they have all their air conditioning units hidden behind these little cabana screens here. Each building or little group of buildings all has their own little uh, barbecue area out here. Picnic tables where you can come out and sit and eat dinner if that's what you want to do. Typically people use those just to hold their supplies while they're grilling and then they take their food back to the unit. In our area, they are actually putting in uh, two new barbecues, which I assume will be going throughout the resort in the near future. But uh, these things work really well. They're, they're gas grills, so they're not, they're not propane and uh, they're not briquettes. And they work really, really well. You can cook a steak on that in a hot minute. These are the new grills going in in our area. As you can see, they're not quite finished with the project, but looks like those are going to be some pretty beautiful grill stations. Plenty of parking here too. You usually find cars clustered around, uh, you know, entrance points. Some of their parking is not convenient to the rooms. Uh, our room actually there is no convenient parking to it we have to we have to take a little hike to get to our room no matter where we park and of course they have the fitness center which again is locked to keep the roof rough out but you see they have all the usual suspects of things you can do to get your exercise on while you're here. Like the, the only reason I've ever visited this room is to videotape it so you can see where it's at. We have a uh, pretty good cat and chicken population here at the resort, although it is a lot less than the last time we were here a couple of years ago. But this is our absolute favorite building, building number four. We weren't lucky enough to get it this time, but this is our favorite because we love these ground floor units. It looks right over this uh, grassy area here. Very private, nobody ever walks behind your unit, unlike I'm doing right now. But it also looks out into this, uh, it's a drainage ditch out here, which does not generate mosquitoes up here. I mean, I don't know if they spray or what, but we've never had any problems with mosquitoes in our room. And right over there is another hotel. And I'll show you the little walkway. It's uh, just a little gate that goes from our resort to theirs. And they have a, they have a really good happy hour over there that we like to partake in sometimes. Look what I found hanging out. He's really in there too. Just hanging out, having a good time. This is Kamaole Beach Park 1. 
which is the the uh, beach park right across from our resort. Really nice shaded place. Always find somebody hanging out here. We have a charcoal barbecue pit here and some picnic tables. You can come down and have some lunch. Always find dogs hanging out at the beach here. Built a nice little uh, boardwalk down to the beach here where it's a little easier for people with mobility issues to get down here, which I think is awesome. There is a uh, lifeguard tower here, so there's staff like during the day, of course not at night. Um, they do a really good job of keeping an eye on people out here. Uh, they'll they'll yell at people when the surf, surf starts coming up that it's getting dangerous and they should get in a little closer to shore or get away from the rocks or whatever their warning is. But as you can see, this is a big, beautiful, crescent-shaped beach. This is Kamaole 1. Uh, down the road, we have Kamaole 2 and Kamaole 3, which look pretty much the same. Big crescent beaches with beach parks. They do a great job here in Hawaii with their beach parks. Right next door, we have an ABC store where you can get, you know, all the things that you absolutely need that you forgot to get at Costco or Safeway. And little buildings tucked in behind ABC. You have uh, snorkel rentals, uh, beach chair umbrella rentals, that kind of thing. So everything's pretty, pretty conveniently located here. Worldmark Kihei is one of our very favorite resorts to go to, but it's not the only one we love. Check out our review of Isla Harris over here.